Didn't we just do a mailbag? You're right, we did. But it's always the way, isn't it? You do a mailbag, and immediately some fun things turn up the next day. This time we've got some stuff from Soldered. Let's see what's inside the box. So we've got some interesting soldering kit. I think we'll have a play with this later and try a bit of soldering. That's pretty cool. And we've got a nice dash Duino. So that's a nice purple board. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with that yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something. And we get a nice purple cable to go with it. Pretty fancy. Let's have a look and see what's in the big box. So this looks like an ink plate 10. So this is a very nice e-paper display. It's lovely and large. So they use recycled e-paper displays from old e-book readers. So that's pretty cool. So we'll see what we can get running on this later. Not bad. And as a bit of a bonus, it also comes with a nice purple cable. Pretty good. What a score. So let's see how to get inside this thing and see what it's made of. Somewhere, here we go, open here. So we should be able to just open it up really easily. So it unclips quite nicely. And now the board should just lift out. So there we go. Let's see what we've got. So we have our ESP32 module. We've got a battery and we've got an SD card. And there's a battery connector for a lithium ion battery. That's pretty cool. So one of the really nice things about this e-paper display is it's all open source. So we can pop over to GitHub and download all the schematics and the bomb. So here we've got the uh, power schematic. So this generates all the voltages required for the e-paper display and for the ESP32. We've got the actual e-paper connection with its ribbon cable connector. And we've got the MCU, so the ESP32 Rover and a couple of IO expanders. So that's pretty cool. If you want to learn how to build PCBs, there's the PCBs as well. So you can go from the schematic to PCB and see how the experts do it. There are a whole bunch of demos to try out, including news headlines. Now I must admit, I've been trying to avoid the news lately as it's all a bit depressing, but maybe I should start reading some. And of course, there's a weather display. I think I'm going to try and get the EPD weather project up and running on this display as that will be pretty nice and can replace my very tiny display that I've been using up until now. The other demo that I like is Conway's Game of Life. Always good fun to try out. Now let's get this kit soldered up and see what it does. As you can tell, I've never been very good at soldering, so maybe I should get more of these kits and really practice a bit. But it's a nice Simon Says game. Let's give it a play. Well that's good fun. It shows a bunch of lights and you click the buttons and see what's happening. Let's move on to this nice dev board. It's got an Atmega 328P, a TP4056 battery charger, and it's got a full colour WS2812 RGB LED, which is really bright. So, what should we do with the e-paper display? At the moment I'm thinking weather display, but I'm open to suggestions. Let me know in the comments.